Chapter 4 Programming Basics with Scratch Introduction Scratch is developed by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, USA. Scratch is a visual tool or programming language that can be used to create interactive animations, games and demos. Children can learn programming the fun and exciting way using Scratch. In this chapter, we shall explore advanced features of Scratch to add more interactivity to our animation through various examples. But before that, let us have a quick look at its basics. Quick recap. Let us quickly review what we have learned earlier in Scratch. Launching Scratch. To launch Scratch application, open Start menu. Click on Scratch option. Scratch interface. Every animation in Scratch is treated as a separate project. Scratch interface shows the project window. Project window is composed of following main parts. Stage shows the position and placing of sprites in your animation. It also shows the output of the animation created by you. Sprites palette lists all the sprites added by you in your animation. Sprites are various objects that together make your animation. Blocks palette contains all the building blocks of your animation. Sprite library. Above the sprites palette, click on sprites from library icon. Sprites library will open up where sprites are organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sprite to add it to the stage. Costume library. Clicking on choose costume from library option, a costume library opens up that lists a collection of costumes and expressions for various characters to choose from. Backdrop library. Clicking on Choose Backdrop from Library option, a backdrop library opens up that lists a collection of backdrops organized in various categories. Event Handling An event is any action occurring at any point of time, before, after or during an animation. Scratch lets us decide what to do when a particular event occurs. For example, if a sprite is moving and user clicks anywhere on the stage, we can decide to stop the animation or let the sprite do something. Let us try this out. Add Sprite Ammon from People category in Sprite Library. Using tool at the top of the stage, decrease Ammon's size. Place Ammon at bottom right corner of the stage as shown here. From Scripts tab, go to Events category. Add when this sprite clicked block to your script. From Scripts tab, go to Motion category. Add Glide to block with the values for seconds, X and Y as shown here. From Scripts tab, go to Events category. Add when Space key is pressed block to your script. From Scripts tab, Control category, add Stop all block. Explanation. When user clicks with mouse on Ammon, it would glide towards right side. When user presses space bar on the keyboard, Ammon would stop. This way, Ammon would move on mouse click on it and stop on space key press. Processing user input. Scratch allows taking input from the user and then processing it to produce desired result. The input given by the user is stored in the variables with unique names given by us. A variable is the storehouse for a value at a time. If it stores a new value, then any value previously stored in it is lost forever. Hence, it is called a variable because during the course of the script, its value may change. Let us see the steps to create a variable by the name age. In Scripts tab, go to Data Category. Click on the option Make a Variable. 
In the dialog box, enter the name of the variable as age. Click on OK. Add this to the script palette. Add ask and wait block from sensing category. Add set age to zero block from data category. Drag drop answer block into the value section of the set age to block. Add if then else block from control category. Drag drop right arrow comparison block from operators category into the condition section of if then else block. Drag drop variable age from data category to the placeholder before right arrow sign. Type 17 in the placeholder after right arrow sign. Add say for 2 seconds block in if section. Set the text to you can vote. Add say for 2 seconds block in else section. Set the text to sorry you need to wait. Adding sounds from sound library. In the blocks palette, click on sounds tab. Sound editor will open up. Click on choose sound from library option. A sound library opens up that lists a collection of sounds organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sound. Editing sound. Desired part of a sound sequence can be selected Cut, copy and paste it to design a different sound sequence. Sound effects. Certain simple sound effects can be added from the effects drop-down list. Reiteration of statements. Executing any statement repeatedly is called reiteration or looping. Scratch provides two types of loop. We shall have a look at both of them with example. Earlier we have seen how sprites can be glided to a particular coordinate by mentioning x and y values. We can move a sprite as long as we need without concerning ourselves about coordinates. We can set the direction of the sprite using the motion block point in direction and then making provision for moving the sprite repeatedly. Let us see how we achieve this by making our airplane fly in true sense instead of glide. Add airplane sprite from the sprite library. Set it to a smaller size and place it on the left hand side of the stage. Add when key pressed block from event category with space option. Add repeat block from control category and set its value to 50. Add move steps block to the repeat block and set steps to 5. Press space bar and watch your airplane fly. Explanation Repeat block is used to execute the required statements multiple times. Here move 5 steps statement is placed inside repeat 50 block so it will execute 50 times. This will make the airplane move 250 steps forward. This could have been achieved just by using move 250 steps, but this example is to demonstrate the working of repeat block. Next example moves the airplane forward and at the same time turns it slowly upwards for takeoff. With the airplane placed on bottom left corner, this code will make your airplane take off. Explanation Notice the two motion blocks in the repeat 20 block. Move 5 steps. Turn up 1 degrees. These two statements will execute together 20 times, thus making the airplane move forward and turn slowly upwards at the same time. The airplane will take a smooth curved path upwards. When repeat 20 block executes completely, then repeat 75 block will move the airplane ahead 5 steps. 75 times, that is 375 steps. The combined effect of both the repeat blocks will show the airplane taking off.